Welcome back to this little kettlebell circuit um, that we've got going on. Um, just wanted to dispel a couple of myths um, and a, a couple of messages through. Kettlebells aren't just funny shaped dumbbells, okay? So although you can use them as a, a weight for resistance training, the, the actual function of kettlebells is to use this hip extension and this hip thrust extension to get this kinetic chain all the way through your body. Okay, if you're using them for kind of isolation exercises where you're just kind of basically doing uh, bicep curls with it and stuff, okay, it's 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 making use of the weight, but it's not how it should be used. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go through uh, a couple of little quick exercises um, just so that you can start putting these into it into a little circuit. The idea the idea behind it is that. Originally, kettlebell training came from came from Russia, um, and over over in Russia they, they do it on time based training rather than reps. Okay, so you'll be doing doing these um, doing these exercises for a certain amount of time, and the aim of the game is to challenge yourself to get through more and more reps through a set amount of time. Okay, so we're going to start off first, and we're going to go with. Double arm swings, okay? So double arm swings, moving the hips, keeping the shoulders back, good posture, head up, allowing the weightlessness of the kettlebell at the top as you get used to the feel of the weight and the trajectory of the movement. As you start relaxing into this movement now, you'll see when it's weightless at the top, heavy at the bottom, so you can switch into single arm swings and catch and catch. The end of the game is to catch it at the top. So you're having to recruit the muscles a little bit faster. You learn timing, you're learning rhythm, you're using flow, and you're relaxing through this movement to chain these exercises together. So our next one is up into clean and press. Clean it up, now it's all spin it and pop up, up, up to the top. Touch the bottom, flip, up to the top. Three, four, five, and change sides. Change at the bottom. One, two, three. Four, five, and then we can go back to the one swings. In singles. Clean and press. Chin sides. I'm gonna add in a snatch from the bottom all the way to the top, then lower from the bottom, explode all the way to the top, all the way down. Three, four, five. Good sides. One, two, three, four, five. And that's a great quick little blast through a load of kettlebell exercises that you can get the maximum input. Thank you.